This time on Rad Rat Video, we're reviewing non-abrasive grip tape. Welcome to Rad Rat Video. Here on this channel, we talk about all kinds of skateboarding topics. We answer your questions on Ask Rad Rat. We talk about trick histories, game reviews, we learn tricks on the Shred School, we keep up with old pros on Retro Rippers, and we also cover new skateboarding technology. So a while back, DKL Grip Tape launched a Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign, and I covered it. And I was a little skeptical of their idea of non-abrasive grip tape. Well, now that they've fulfilled all those orders and they've launched their website, they decided to send me some sheets of it so that I could review it, um, or just so I could see how it is. They didn't ask for a review, but I thought it's something you guys would be interested in. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully that'll focus. Uh, the idea behind this stuff is that it's kind of perfect smooth bumps instead of regular sandpapery grip tape where I, at a microscopic level it's sharp and jagged and it's gonna tear into your shoes and stuff. So the way this feels, um, they've called it originally that it was like a ping pong paddle grip, you know? And it's, it is kind of like that. I would also say it's sort of like, you know, if you have a rug and you want to put on a hardwood floor, you have to put down that rubber mat so it doesn't slide around. It's kind of similar to that too. This is custom design, so you're not going to feel anything exactly like it, but that's kind of the idea. And it serves the same purpose, where it doesn't scratch up the surface, but it still keeps you in place. So that's the idea behind this stuff. And what I'm going to do is I have some brand new shoes well, brand new-ish. I w walked around in them, but I haven't skated them at all yet. Um, some DC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start skating these, and I'm going to use this grip tape, and I'm going to see if it really does save my shoes. Uh, also, what I did, which you probably can't see very well, is I drew, I actually put it on my board, I drew a Rad Rat logo in paint right there. Uh, unfortunately, all I had was black, so it's hard to see, but I was skeptical of whether it would be able to hold paint or if it would rub off. So I'm going to be testing that too. Something you might notice about this board is that it seems like I cut it out really badly, and that's one of the downsides of this grip tape. So when you put it on the board, they have a video of the right way to do it, but you put it on your board and then you have to cut it out right away and then you sand it. So with normal grip tape, you can file it or sand it and then cut it. But this you have to cut it right away after you put it down and so getting that line straight is a little tough. When I sanded it sometimes uh, little chunks came out and stuff like that. So it doesn't look great but um, all that really matters to me is the performance. So I'm gonna go test it out and I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so the first part of the test is done. What I wanted to do was just go out and do my most consistent stuff and just see if it felt any different. See if there's a learning curve to this grip tape or if it's the same. So I had the same deck that I've been skating for a while, pulled off the old mob grip tape and put on this stuff. And uh, that's what I went out and skated with. And you know what? I had a lot of trouble with some of my most basic tricks. Like even a pop shove, it took me a few tries. My most consistent trick, the one that I'm about 99% with is the no comply front side big spin flip. I have a trick tip for that right here. I recorded it last year uh, and I can do that almost all the time. It took me eight tries to land on this grip tape. I think the problem is it's just so grippy that when I go to follow through on my scoop, it grabs my foot a little bit more than I'm used to and it goes flying out ahead of me. So I actually had to come up with a new technique where I popped more down and pulled my foot back, like didn't follow through at all and I eventually landed it, not very well, but I did eventually land it. And there were some other tricks I had a lot of trouble with too, like the double kick flip. For me, that's an easy one too. I don't do a lot of single flips, but the double flip is one of my basic tricks, warm up, game escape, whatever, double flips. But with this grip tape, it wanted to fly out. It was grabbing my foot too much and went flying. So it did take quite a bit of getting used to 
But if you're used to really grippy grip tape, for me, I just get you know what's free at the skate shop that they throw in when you buy a deck. So if you're used to really grip tape and really grippy grip tape, it might not be a big deal. But for me, it was quite a bit different. So the next test I'm gonna do is I'm going to count how many flicks I did when I was out there just now and then keep doing kickflips until it's up to 100. So we're talking shoe sliding against the grip tape in a kickflip motion 100 times. And then I'm going to switch and I'm gonna use my freestyle board, which has normal grip tape on it, and do 100 switch flips. And that way, same, you know, grip tape sliding against the shoe 100 times. And then I wanna compare those two shoes and see if this grip tape really does help that much. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so I just completed the 100 kickflip challenge on both types of grip tape. I wanna share the results of that with you. But first, I wanna show you the freestyle board I was using. This is just regular Jessup grip tape, nothing special about it. But what I wanna show you is that I've been skating this board for months and it still looks nice and clean. Uh, you know, it's starting to sand itself down a little bit on the tails, but the grip tape still looks pretty good. The DKL grip tape, keep in mind this was maybe half hour of skating. Uh, the DKL grip tape is coming right off. So this is the nose. You can see it's starting to peel up a bit, uh, which is weird. I only did kickflips and that warm up stuff. I didn't really do much on the nose. And then the tail is actually a lot worse. So this started to come off when I was doing the no comply tricks. One of the first things I did in the warm up feels like as I was starting to scoop, the grip tape would just stick to my shoe and twist and it was starting to come off. Thing is, I sanded this down as well as I could. I didn't wanna go overboard and actually lose all the grippiness around the edges. So I didn't sand it too much. So if you do get some, be very careful about sanding it down. Um, I thought I did a pretty good job, but it is coming right off. So something else I wanted to show you, remember I painted that Rad Rat logo right here in the kickflip spot. I know that's a very tough spot, most used part of the grip tape, but as you can tell, it is 100% gone. It was actually gone in the warm up, maybe about 10 minutes in, it was 95% gone. But something else I wanna point out is look how smooth this spot is getting. So as you can see, uh, it's kind of peeling off as well. If you rub it, it just kind of comes off. See, oh, I'm not sure if you can tell, you might have to go into full screen, but it's just kind of coming right off on my finger. So the grip tape does wear off a lot. Normal grip tape does that as well, um, but it does seem a little more noticeable here. But the one trade-off to that that was actually sort of a positive thing was that I got more used to it as I went. So it was way too grippy at first and starting to lose some of its grippiness. So at some point, I think it'll kind of level out and I'll be more used to it. Hey guys, just want to jump back in real quick and give you an update on this grip tape. So the way my channel works, sometimes there's a big gap between when I finish a video and when it goes up. In this case, it's been about two weeks and I've been skating this grip tape this whole time. Had quite a few sessions in that time and I wanted to give you an update. So all the problems I had with the grip are basically gone at this point. So I got all my tricks back pretty much right away. One of the ones I struggled with was a front side flip and I finished a trick tip for it on the new grip, no problem. I also, I was having trouble with the no comply big spin flips. I actually learned no comply big spin flip late flips with the new grip, no problem. So that has gone away as well. Also the grip itself, I trimmed off all the parts where it was starting to peel and I sanded it down very thoroughly and it's been stable this whole time and it's been fine. So there is a little bit of a transitional period but it is actually really good. And uh, let's get back to the rest of the video. But the biggest test and the most important thing, the biggest clean that they make is that this will help protect your shoes. So I wanna show you exactly what it did to my shoes. 
So after 100 kickflips, kickflip attempts, doesn't matter if I landed it, it was just sandpaper motion against the board, against the shoe. How did my shoes turn out? Well, this is the regular grip tape. This is for the switch flips. And as you can see, it does not look great. You can start to see where uh, the sole is wearing away right there. Um, you can tell that the black is starting to fade away a little bit. And right here as well, you can see that it's starting to get fuzzy, like these, uh, these stitches are starting to fray a little bit. Um, so that's about what you would expect after 100 kickflips. But I want to show you the DKL one now. So this one was my regular stance kickflips. Same amount, same amount of action, a little bit more because I did, you know, like the pop shoves and the pressure flips and all that stuff. Uh, this would potentially be a little bit worse and yet take a look. You can tell maybe a little bit right here that it's starting to get a little bit rough. But look at the top. It's starting to fade a tiny bit. That pattern is starting to fade a tiny, tiny bit. But there is essentially no damage to my shoe. That spot that was getting frayed on the other one is completely fine here. Uh, you might see a little bit of fading, if any, right there. So that is a night and day difference. I'm gonna try to put them both up there at the same time. Uh, that's the difference right there. So that was a huge result. I was actually very surprised by that. So the question is, is that worth it to you? So if you're really used to extremely grippy grip tape, then I would just jump right into it, no problem. But if you're the kind of guy who has his setup so locked down that it's hard to skate anything else, you know, like if you try out your friend's board and you can barely ride on it, if you have to be that dialed in because you're so precise, you might have a lot of trouble with the grip tape. So you've seen all of the different kind of things that we have going on with the grip tape coming off, the fact that you can't paint it, um, all kinds of other stuff. Is it worth it to you to have your shoes survive um, a little bit longer? For me, I would probably say yes. I mean, you saw those shoes, that was a huge difference. Um, if it makes my shoes last that much longer, I can get used to the more grippiness uh, of the grip tape, I could focus on sanding it a little bit better. So for me, I'm gonna hang in there and I'm gonna try it a couple more times. I think that uh, it is probably the way that grip tape should go in the future. Right now, there are some problems with the peeling up and all that, which I hope that they are able to solve in the future. But I really like the idea of this grip tape. I really like being able to save shoes. I'm the kind of guy who buys my shoes at the outlet store or on clearance or something like that. Um, I'm just always trying to save a little bit of money when I can. So for me, this is a pretty big deal. The grip tape is $10, um, so it's a couple dollars more, but if your shoes last that much better, it might be worth it. So I would consider it. I can't tell you whether you should or shouldn't because it's really tough to say how it'll work for you. But that was my experience with the grip tape, and I hope you enjoyed learning about it. If you have a new technology type of product you want to see me talk about, go to my about page and you'll see my email address there and you can tell me about it. But until next time, here are some more videos you might wanna check out. I do a lot more than skate reviews. In fact, this is the first one I've ever done. So there are game reviews, trick histories, learning tricks on the Shred School, all that kind of stuff for you to check out right here. And make sure you subscribe so you keep learning something new about skateboarding three times a week. Thanks for watching.